What happened? Where have I been? Well, that's probably something you're thinking right now as you're watching this video. Today, I'm going to be explaining why I haven't been uploading in the past few months and what is going to happen from now on. First things first, during the exam season, I had to take a bit of a break from YouTube because there was a lot of pressure to revise and I wasn't able to make quality videos. There just simply wasn't enough time to release decent content. It was at this time I stopped making videos that I realised how much hassle and effort it took to keep modding GTA. Now, it's not an easy game to make videos for on YouTube and a lot can go wrong. Scripts can cause crashes, updates from Rockstar can ruin modification setups. This means that most mods need to be reinstalled all over again in the rare case that it does happen, which isn't an easy process in the first place. The whole process of making videos just became quite repetitive and the situations and incidents kept on repeating themselves, it just kind of lost its fun. After YouTube updated their monetization policy, a lot of YouTubers started losing revenue. I'm not the only one to be affected by this. Many content creators have announced resigning from YouTube because they simply couldn't support their work anymore. I couldn't buy any new PC parts or fund services that help my channel. Because I make these videos, I'm not able to get a part-time job. So YouTube revenue was the only way to fund my channel. It soon dawned on me that there was a lot more effort that I was putting in than what it was worth to keep running things. And when OpenIV announced that they weren't able to keep modding tools available anymore, it just felt like everything was over. Looks like the whole modding community was falling apart, but um, there was a lot of negativity in the community and it was a shame to see shit hit the fan. I wasn't really considering coming back. People change, interests change, and I enjoy making videos in a different way now. So it was at this point that I considered coming back to YouTube in a new light. I'm no longer interested in the competition or being the best. I just want to make these videos purely for the fun aspect. I know that the competitive nature that our channels had in the past has caused quite a few issues, but I'm past that now, beyond that shit. In the past year or so, I've just been keeping to my own business whilst willing to support the community by showcasing brilliant modifications in my videos. As you've noticed, I always drop a link to download the vehicles in my vids, so modders can get recognized or they can get their stuff downloaded I mean, there's a lot of pressure on my channel specifically because of the way I've made things in the past to make my videos 100% realistic but where's the fun in that? if we made it 100% realistic what would happen? we'd just be driving around all day you can't even hand out traffic tickets anymore because they just send notices to people for like to go to court I mean why even use that feature in the game? so that's what I thought differently from now on, my videos are going to be, there's going to be a fine balance between fun and realism. It's going to be a playability aspect where things that happen in game, it's not going to be ridiculous. I'm not going to have like Battenberg Crown Vicks or shooting criminals with a pistol. <laughs> but there's going to be a lot more interesting things that are going to happen. There's a fine balance between fun and realism that I've always strived to maintain in my videos and keeping within the mechanics of the game whilst maintaining immersion is something that I will always prioritise. For instance, I'm aware that such and such the Met don't give out fixed penalty notices on the spot anymore, but what's the point in even putting them in the game? There's no fun, and an entire feature that many modders have worked hard to implement is wasted. Policies like chasing bikes and mopeds are constantly being rethought and subject to change, and these can't be set in stone either. I mean, it was only a week ago or a few days ago that um, Mayor of London wanted to issue new laws to protect cops from chasing bikes, and you can read that on the internet if you... So from this point on, I'm making videos on my own terms, in my own time. There will no longer be an urge to put everything out all the time. I'm not going to be churning videos out or chucking them out there and just trying to get everything uploaded. I'm going to be making videos for the enjoyability aspect. This time around, I'm just going to be enjoying making the videos myself and hopefully the audience is going to enjoy it because it will just make a lot better, a lot better experience in general. So, what happens next? Well... There's going to be a channel redesign in the next few days. I'm currently working on getting GTA 5 up and running, which is a pain in the ass, might I add, so that I can make patrol videos again. You will notice patrols will be more natural and there will be more mods that will be used in much more fun incidents that will be recorded. Now, as for modding, I'm not going to comment at that at this point, but there are a few interesting projects that I'm working on under the table. There's already a really good community of British models out there that produce high quality projects which I'll be linking to my videos so there will always be something for you to use yourselves. I'll always be trying to showcase the later stuff on my channels and vids. I hope to see you soon in some awesome videos and I'll be working on bring a com bringing a community feel to this channel such as possibly bringing back live streams, a multiplayer gameplay or even some other new stuff. 
Until then, I'll see you soon. Peace.